Hey everybody, Orfeolesia, welcome back to some more Pokemon Platinum. Last time we went through Route to the North, I think that was through 214, I do believe. And we made it all the way down here to Valor Lakefront. In this episode, we are going to go head south on Route 213 and hopefully get into Pastoria City. But first, I want to talk to you. This hotel is so romantic. I hope at night on a Pokemon will sleep me away on the honeymoon here. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I doubt Winston will ever come to Sinnoh. You know. But anyways, right over here, we get ourselves the yellow shard. Always happy my bag. Now, is there an item over here? Nope. So, coming on south of here, um... Yeah, also, off-screen, I grinded these two up a little bit. Yeah, I, I took down the hotel there. Yeah, there's a lot of new Pokemon there, but... I'm not gonna count them as trainers of interest. Now, here we have a couple tubers. I don't think they have any trainers of interest, so, uh... Hey, hey, I can battle too! Maybe. I think we're gonna keep this battle, and I don't think we've seen a Meryl yet. I don't think we have, actually. Oh, roll out! Nope, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's a quad weak move! And that only the 12. Yeah, I know next turn will do a lot more, but. Damn! That did not do crap. Alright, I know you don't have anything of you, so let's go ahead and take you on. Isn't this nice? I love my inflatable tube. Okay, somewhat of interest, probably gonna cut this battle out, but this guy uses a different form of shell loss. See on, on this side of my coronet, there are different there's a different form of shell loss. This is the shell loss I was talking about much earlier. Okay. Back to cut. Deathblade you're level 33. Wants to learn Razor Wind? Hell no! Well I'll show you guys this move. Special type move, 80 power, 100 accuracy, 2 turns to do thing, high critical ratio, it sucks. It's not easy trying to hold on to someone like this in inflatable too. It might be so, um, I remember there's an item on the beach. Couple items, too. Right here we get a heart scale. Heart seals are going to be very useful coming up pretty soon. Two, one, two, three. All right, here we get a pearl. Good money in my pocket, even though it's not too much. Alright, that's it in this little inlet. Now, coming on a little bit further south, we have some fishermen. I remember one of these fishermen having something useful. I'm going to switch up Star Fury to the front. We haven't seen a metronome in a while. Oh, you're not a trainer. You're the trainer. What? Wah! No, just now. I'm thinking about. I was just about to reel in. Well, easy. But anyways, this guy has a Rummeraid. Uh, so close to getting one too. Wait, no. We can actually get Rummeraid on this route. Yeah, we got some new Pokemon on this route. Yeah. So good thing I fought this guy. So first off, you use a good run in the water. You get Rumble Raid. If I deny you shell us, I'd definitely use Rumble Raid. Rumble Raid, they evolve level 25 into Octillery. You might think, eh, what Octillery? It's probably nothing special. Ancient power. Don't damn time you want to move. Let's get a sweet kiss. I never use it. It's not that accurate. And plus, you're going to be more of a special attacker in the future. But yeah, Remoraid, if I did not use Shell Us, I'd definitely use Remoraid. Octillery's, um, they're slow. They are kind of de decent in terms of defense, but they are good mixed attackers. What's so amazing about Octillery? Their move pool. Yeah, it has a wide diverse move pool. In fact, you can learn a lot of moves from TM, such as, I don't know, Flamethrower, Energy Ball. Whatever it can make a beam, it can work. It is that darn good. And also, we have Gyarados, which is very threatening. But yeah, I mean, if I did not use Shell Loss, 
I would definitely be using Remoraid. Eh, maybe for a later Let's Play. But, ugh. Gyaradoses are very threatening. They have high attack. I just need to know how much this will do. Whether or not I should be fearful or not. I'm always fearful of Gyaradoses. They have decent special defense, sure. They're quite weak to electric, but they have high attack. This is the evolution of Magikarp, if you didn't know. Gyaradoses are scary. I ain't looking forward to the next jump. But Gyarados is gone. Nice, that's a lot of experience. You need to have more respect for your grown-ups. Alright, that's not the only new Pokemon on this route. I'm gonna go ahead and switch on... Um, let's bring out this to the front. No Slugpod, I never use Slugpod, so it's for like back behind some experience. But anyways, there's one new po more Pokemon on this route, but first off, let's go ahead and here and, um... We might... What? Let's let's switch let's switch Star Fury up to the front and talk to this guy. Pokemon are quite easy easy for me to read. I only need the footstep and their inner thoughts are revealed to me. Oh, you you have a sep. Oh, you're skeptical of my claim. Then let your target take walk in front of me right here. From its footsteps, I'll determine how it feels about you. If, if I said there could be friendship between pe people and Pokemon, will target Tips friendship understand? But if you see Vance and Sarfury, you will understand. Because Vance and Sarfury, Sarfury are friends. And that is what your Togetic thinks of you. I must say your Togetic and you share a very close bond. This is for you. We obtained the footstep footprint ribbon and yes, got the maximum friendship with Togetic. Yes! Starfury, yeah we type bond even though you like blowing yourself up. But yeah, you can talk to that guy, and if you have high enough friendship, you'll get yourself a footstep ribbon. You want to you want to stockpile on some ribbons. So come on back here, and we get ourselves a rock smashable rock. Thank goodness there's no Pokemon in the wild, so um... Uh, right up here, we get a Hyper Potion. Hype! Now, continuing on, we're going to go ahead and fight this trainer. This is the last trainer of the route, I do believe. And there's one more Pokemon on this route, because you can see the grass is up ahead. That is Wingles. Wingles are rather mad Pokemon to be honest, but has something amazing has some amazing merits as the Pokemon evolves at a pretty low level and overall decent with high defenses and stats, which makes it kinda decent. Sadly though, it's not the most offensive Pokemon, and it's very weak to electric. However though, the big merit I have to say about Wingles, amazing HM user. Access to Surf, Waterfall, Fly, and Defog, aka amazing amazing HM sleep because in the near future we'll need Defog real or even face a really bad time, so Wingle might be a good choice on that front. That's it on the new Pokemon on this route. You're trying to use assist. I think this might be your only Pokemon. I did not catch it, but. Mm. I don't remember where Glamios are encountered. I think I remember now. Oh my gosh, your Pokemon is that savage. You cannot handle the Slugdepod. Be glad it wasn't Star Fury, otherwise, you'd be definitely screwed. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and use Rock Smash and get this Pokeball. And this is TM40 Aerial Lays. The flying type shockwave physical move does... Physical move always hits. So right here is the grass, and we are done. This is an Aguav Berry. Quite a Aguav. A Rust. I'll happily take some more berries. Even though I haven't been doing too much berry farming, and probably the last time in that cherry berry I planted up at Harham's probably dead now. Oh well. I've never been good at gardening. So with that all done, we're now going to head into Pastoria City. So first up on your Pastoria City visit, come into this house and, um, you. Howdy there. Let me examine your Pokemon to see if it's worthy of a scarf. Hmm, I see. It isn't what I was hoping to see. I can't lie to you. I just have to tell you straight. This Pokemon's not bad, but it's not good either. It's just so-so. For -so. improving one's conditions, yeah. Anyways, if you're able to, to to get yourself high enough, you'll be able to get some scars. If your condition's maxed out, yeah. Good for berry farmers. I really don't do anything. Right up here is the Pastoria Great Marsh. And what do you have to say, Great Hunt? Girl, this package hasn't arrived from Vale somewhere house yet. I have to wait... I have to wait for it here until then. 
until then, I'm gonna be batty and or just wait. I mean, I wish I could do something that involves a lot of explosives. Yeah, this is gonna be a smashing job for Team Galactic. Remember what he says, so this thing! On occasion, if you're able to, like, leave the map and then come back, you'll be able to encounter a Krogunk there. I'm actually gonna go ahead and try that, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Wow, my luck knows no bounds. That was the first... I just left the PC and came back. Anyways, up ahead, you don't want to go that way quite yet until you're ready for the gem, as I would recommend grinding a little bit because there's a surprise encounter there. In the Great March, quick trams are available for transportation, preventing damage from that. Yeah, nothing really there. We'll go over the Great March much later, but, um... Yeah, so right here you get some person berries. Yeah, I will not be going to over the marsh quite yet because I do want to go over Route 212 first. Because, trust me, you want to get as much experience as you can before taking on the gym. I want to be at a good level, not too over level, but yet not too under leveled. I'd say I need about a couple more levels until I'm at a good state. I, mean, I could probably take on the gym now, but I want to be a little bit stronger. Am I just going on to the south? So you smack dab in the middle of town. Yeah, there's a lot of water in this town. Big surprise. This guy! This is why I say you want to get heart scaled. Everyone calls me the move maniac. I prefer move tutor. Every I know every move that a Pokemon can learn while leveling up. And I can teach that Pokemon th those moves. I can teach a move meant for a Pokemon like yours if you like. Yes! This is why I say keep on heart scales. This is what you want. So I know I want to go to Gyalith. Wood Hammer. Hell yeah, it's very powerful, but I think you can tank some hits. I'm giving you a Razor Leaf, it's not the most accurate, and plus, it, and plus, Wood Hammer does a lot of damage. That's for damn sure. So yeah, this is what I was stockpiling hard scales on. Next up, Deathblade, do you have anything? Vacuum Wave? No. Yeah, if you're a Final Evolution Pokemon, you want to go ahead and investigate them because they might have some past moves. Because I know once Starfury evolves, they'll be going back here because Starfury can learn some pretty damn good moves. Do you learn anything? Nope. Oh well. Yeah, I know Starfury does access to a uh, Grass type move. I really don't need that Grass type move. It's Magical Leaf. Uh, 60 power always hits. Nothing. Alright, that's it in this house. Come on to the south, and I do believe there is something in this house. Um, yes. Have you caught both male and f female forms of combi? If you have, I want to see both of them together. I'll give you a match brace if you did that for me, deal? Yeah, match brace, a delicate amount of EVs you can battle, however, they would be a lot slower. Meh. The Great March keeps the weather cool in the summertime. It's a great town for water type Pokemon. You don't remember that? I see rare Pokemon that appear only in the Great Marsh. Okay, good to know. So let's go on in and see what's new in the Pokemart. Also, Krogan statue. Even though it's made of wood, it looks like it's even poison. And right here, quick frickin' balls. I'm buying ten of these. Quick balls. Yeah, at the very beginning of the battle, I'll toss them, and if it's at a certain catch rate, I do believe it's like 150 or so or better. You'll always catch. I love Quick Balls. Quick Balls are honestly my favorite Pokeball. Have you been to the Pokemon Mansion on, on Route 12? The owner, Mr. Beckley, likes to brag about his heart, his heart of rare Pokemon. That we shall go ahead and go. Anyways, right in this house, I do believe there is something interesting in here. I've been hiking around the Sinnoh region. I love playing berries wherever I go. I'll give you this berry too. Plant it somewhere where you got the Yachi Berry. Prevents fr well, it's... If you're hit by a super effective ice type move, you'd have the damage. Wait a minute. Thank you! Oh, this will be a godsend for the upcoming gym. Trust me on this, if you're a Torterra user, that's a godsend. So right here we're on Route 212. 
You want to be careful of right over here? No, if I remember, there's an item. Yes, there is an item here. At least we get stuck in the marsh. Right here, we get the Dawnstone. If you are a user of Ecurlia, you want that. Anyways, continuing on south, have you been to the Great Marsh? Or how about the Pokemon Mansion? Wherever you go, you see and meet new Pokemon. So, privileged and happy to have that. Alright, I'm not going to bother with the berries because I really have no purpose with the berries. Just pin up and, uh, yeah, no, well, I do need a Percha. I'm running low on my Percha surprise. Anyways, come up here. And right here we get ourselves a little revive. And yeah, I mean, this route is actually pretty convoluted. I'd say this is probably the longest route in the game. I see you, Mr. Okay, avoid the scientist, hyper potion. Typical spiel on this route, but I think this guy will be important because there's actually one new Pokemon on this route. That would be Krogunk here on the southern half. Krogunks are alright, they're a poison fighting type Pokemon, so they're very weak to psychic. However, though, they can be pretty useful if you use them correctly. They do have a diverse move pool in their poison fighting, so they have some resistances, however, those psychic types will make quick work of them. They're more glass cannon, cannon Pokemon, they're fast, but they have a lot of weaknesses, and they're alright, but why are you using an X attack on a special type Pokemon? I never get these trainers. Yeah, Krogunks, they're alright. I wouldn't say they're like the best Pokemon out there, but eh, you can do worse. Yeah, they evolved at level 37. I always thought they evolved level at level 40, but eh, it's alright. However, though, if it has dry skin, then... Well, let's just say it has another weakness under its belt, under its many, many weaknesses. Um, You know what? You can keep in for Kadabra. And then you can probably go ahead and body slam it. Good thing I didn't go for Mud Bomb. But anyways, there's one other new Pokemon on this route. Wooper and Quagsire. They're a decent water type Pokemon, they're water ground type, so yeah. So we've already talked about how good water and ground type are as a defensive type, only weak to one poke only one type, that would be grass, really effective, although they're pretty slow, but they have decent attack. They're alright. I wouldn't say they're the best Pokemon out there, but eh, they do their job correctly. Also, something else. If you breed a Wooper, Kane's Star, it could all it could come packing with Ice Punch. How a water type Pokemon how is something with no arms is able to learn a punching move? I don't question logic anymore. I just stopped questioning logic a long time ago. So that is it for new Pokemon on this route. Also, that goes generators because they have Magnemite. I don't think we encountered Magnemite yet. Hello, trainer. Are you going to have a cast form like you do in Black 2? Nope, when it rains, I get more tents. It's a whooper! So I guess you are a trainer of interest because you have a whooper. Which lacks arms. Yeah, this thing can learn Ice Punch. Oh, I don't even know. It's dead. What are you going to send out next? Quagsire! Hey, speaking of recent Pokemon bios, you know what? I think you're a good candidate for the ham for the wood hammer. I guess it's time to drop the hammer. You know, come to think about it, dropping the wood hammer, um Don't think about it. Not even a chance. And guy, let's go to level 33. Alright, wants to learn Leech C. I don't think I need to learn Leech C. It's not easy trying to win with while holding an umbrella. Hey, you should make your whooper hold an umbrella. Oh, wait. Alright, here we get a Zing Boost, a special defense of a Pokemon. No. Alright, yeah, I'll keep Slugdepot in. Let's go ahead and head on south. There are many type. There are Pokemon that grow stronger when it's raining. Yep, there kind of is. 
Oh, okay, you're a trainer of interest now. Bee Barrel, we haven't properly encountered Bee Barrel yet, even though we could, even though I saw a crap load of them in the wild. We haven't really fought with Bee Barrel yet, so I guess you are a trainer of interest, even though we're going to see a lot of Bee Barrel in the gym. Oh, freaking well. Kill it. Adio. And it was through to level 33. Getting strong. My train, my tears flow from. Okay, I didn't catch all of that. Now, this house. In Diamond and Pearl, this is where the shards come in because you would trade 10 of, it, of any shard, the blue, green, um. Uh, I've got the other colors, red and yellow. You'd be able to trade them in for, uh. The rain moves. Rain dance for 10 blue. 10 blue. Sunny day for red. Hail for green, I do believe, and yellow for sandstorm. However, though, platinum is much different. I do believe it was this girl. Yeah, talking about red shards. Well, shards in general. So, yeah, so we have a lot of shards here. Depending on what shards you have, you'll be able to teach your Pokemon different moves. I want to see how many shards I have. Okay, not looking like I can teach any of my Pokemon moves because I don't have enough blue scales, but, um... You'll know, be able to teach your Pokemon different moves that you saw on the wall what moves they are. Mostly the elemental punches are of use, however, none of my Pokemon would really benefit. And I'll need no stink and dive, this is not Hoenn. Yes, however, the I am glad they're playing Route 209 because Route 209 is the best theme. Let's be honest here. Route 209 is the best. Oh, the right mag hitter in the water bogged route. I'm gonna head and my best of avoid, and so I should we get ourselves an elixir. Restores 10 PP of every move on a Pokemon. I personally don't use them that often. Am I stuck in the bog? Of course not. How silly me. This is a fully full bod mud pack. Wonders coming around, yeah. So that's the main gist of this route, yeah. You just swim around once you get stuck in there. You can kind of see the outline of where we can and can't go. Make sure you get TM06 Toxic increases the Toxic per turn. Yeah, it's a pretty good poison type move. Alright, before I forget, we have a ranger here. Hi, trainer, can you keep up with me? Of course I can keep up with you! And slug to pug your level 33. Alright, nice. Ooh. You know, I have been doing some thinking. About what, it sh what I should do with my team earthquake. Here's the thing, though. Gastrodon, I was doing some quick research quick. Gastrodon can't learn earth power until you get yourself... I mean, it's a move tutor, but I do believe the move tutor isn't available until endgame. Yeah, I don't think he is, because the move tutor I'm thinking of can't be encountered until much later on, so... I think I know I'm going to use the Earthquake team on. Because I know the final team member cannot learn Earthquake. So, um... People are trying to figure out what my final team member is. This is your clue, it cannot learn Earthquake. Here's the thing, though, I do want to keep my bomb in, but... Eh. Not the most accurate, and plus, I do pow I do prefer accuracy over power, and plus, it is a nice trade off. It's probably gonna do more damage, anyways. So, we have two Earthquakers. I'm a happy man. 
So, um, darn it. Anyways, we are here on the bridge, and my battery's about to go. I think this is a good place to actually conclude the episode off. I mean, we we made some progress under 212, and plus we got a long route ahead of us. We're not even part way through. Next time in Pokemon Platinum, we're going to continue our way through Route 212 and seeing what we can do. See you guys then.